Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome slide on PowerPoint. Alright, let's get started. So first we need a theme. So I'll go to Insert, go to Word Edit, and click on this. And we'll have a text box. So I'm going to type something like this. We prioritize those who reply late over those who sit and wait to listen to us. And I'll make the entire slide on this sentence. So I'll just minimize it a bit for the moment. Just like this. And zoom in a bit. Then what I will do is press Ctrl D to duplicate it and press Ctrl D, D, D to duplicate a couple of times. Then I'll just divide it. We prioritize those and I'll just delete the rest of the part. Then I'll delete this part which I have pressed over here. We prioritize those who reply late over so I'm going to delete this part and I'm going to delete this part and over those who sit and then I'll delete this part and as you can see I've divided the entire sentence, this sentence into four parts. So you will see why I did that in a few minutes. I'll just delete this part. Then I'll just drag over all of it and make a smooth font. So I'll pick, I'm just choosing, so I might choose Avant G Bold. Alright, so I'm gonna pick this font and then I'll drag over all of it and make it 25% lighter black. Then I'll increase the font a bit and click on the S to get rid of the shadows. Then I'll just put it right over here, put it right over here, put right everything right over here. Now for the next part, I'll drag over it, then as you can see, we have four sentences. So I'll drag over all of it and click on this point, align left, then I'll go to format, go to align, and align them to the left. Then what I'll do is just make everything the same size. To do that, first I'll draw a shape frame just around it so that we know what we need to do and we'll have something like this then what I'll do is drag over all of this go to home and increase the font and if I increase it 44 it crosses the boundary if I lessen it it just decreases it so I'm gonna minimize it like for 42 or maybe 41 41 is perfect then I'll just increase this font then I'll have something like this, maybe minimize it to 53, yep, done. Then I'll click on this, Ctrl A to select it all and increase the font size and it's perfect on 40. And increase this font a bit, like 33 will be fine, yep, done. Then I'll click on the frame and delete it, so I have something like this, done. So we are done with our text and it's pretty fine as far as I know, so I'm gonna squeeze it a bit like that done then I'll just put it right over here next I need to create a visual element to do that I will create something that just symbolizes this part and what better way rather than to create a mobile phone so I'll go to shapes and pick this round rectangle over here and drag it like that just like that a mobile phone size then you have a yellow dot over here smooth it out a bit just like that go to shape fill make the fill white, go to shape outline, make it 25% lighter black, go to shape outline again, make the weight 4.5 points. Done. Then I'll click on this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and minimize it just like that so that it serves as a screen. Done. For the next part, I'll click on this again, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and squeeze it like that. Before that, I'll just smooth it out like this and squeeze it and then put it right over here done then I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate it again and rotate it just like this and our button is ready and I should increase this size of it so our mobile phone is ready in no time <laughs> then to add some more details I might add something I'll go to shapes and pick this Thing, which is called round same side corner rectangle 
then I'll drag over here I'll click on this we'll go to format painter and paint the format on top of it smooth it out a bit rotate it 90 degree then minimize it and then put it right over here minimize it further so that it serves as a button all right I'll press ctrl shift and holding a ctrl shift I'll just put it right over here and increase decrease the size a bit so our mobile is ready then for the next part I need to create some text to do that I'll go to insert go to shapes and we already have some text over here as you can see I would rather make something on my own I'll click on this rectangle and just drag it like that all right done I'll go to insert go to shapes again and pick this triangle over here drag it like that rotate it 90 degrees then put it right over here then I'll just drag over these two then go to merge shapes and union them together then I'll click on this go to home go to format painter and paint the format on top of it done then I'll press ctrl D to duplicate it like that go to format go to rotate and flip it horizontal then I'll just copy paste it so what I'll do is just drag all of this holding down ctrl shift I'll just drag it like that and at the time and for the final time done so we have our text ready mobile phone ready so now all we need to do is separate them together so what I will do is go to insert go to shapes and pick this rectangle over here and divide it just like this right click on it send it to back then I'll go to shape offline no offline and make it a bright color like this or maybe this yeah this yellow strikes fine then I'll just put it right in the middle yep this works fine so what I will do is go to insert go to shapes and pick a simple shape or maybe this shape press ctrl D to duplicate it and put it right over here increase the size of it done and then I'll go to insert and go to shapes and pick this triangle over here just drag like that rotate like that click on this go to home go to format painter paint the format on top of it put it right over here then minimize it a bit then I'll fill it with yellow done then I'll make this text yellow so that these two sides balance themselves out done so now it's a complete scene we have a yellow white over here and it just merged these two things together for the final part I'll just drag it over here press ctrl A to select it all and create something like this then I'll just increase the size of it and I'll press ctrl A to select it then make it white you can see it clearly but that's the design part and holding down ctrl shift I'll put right over here rotate it 90 degrees and put it right over here then our slide is ready if I open this slideshow we have our slide ready which says we prioritize those who reply late over those who sit and wait to listen to us isn't that the reality thanks for watching the entire video don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to this YouTube channel I hope you will like this tutorials because I'm putting much effort in creating this if you want any slide for me to make just type it in the comment section so that I can make it for you and don't forget to check out the channel every Friday because there will be one new video every Friday this is Sadman Sadiq so I'm signing out thanks for watching have a great day